Hey guys, how you doing today? Um, <laughs> I'm not sure what Jesus is doing, but he's doing something. And um, guys, the message of the day today is 522 in Galatians. I don't know what he's doing, but I had to run errands today. So I had to do this for my car. <clears throat> but the weird thing is, so I was in church this morning and he gave me, and we do church at the home now with the family, but he started shaking me at 1138, which is weird because that was the sickle time, right? And then he gave me this message and I do not know what this means. <sighs> I wish I did. But something about like we see it in the spirit before we see it in the flesh first. Having time and, and just, it's just so confusing, you know, to us being in the flesh. But anyway, I claim Jesus Christ as God. He's also the son of God. He came to earth in the flesh and blood and died on the cross for us and rose on the third day. Um, so we might be saved by our faith in his grace. Or the telegram and the whatsapp people because they're trying to scam you okay june 4th 2023 11 38 p.m first john 3 7 little children let no one deceive you he who practices righteousness is righteous just as he is righteous almost 2 9 yet it was i who destroyed the amorite before them whose height was like the height of the cedars when he was strong as the oaks yet i destroyed his fruit above and his roots beneath Philippians 1 3 I thank my God upon every remembrance of you first Thessalonians 2 4 but as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel even so we speak not as pleasing men but God who tests our hearts uh, Mark 1 6 now John was clothed with camel's hair and with a leather belt around his waist and he ate locusts and wild honey I don't even know what that one means job 11 3 job 11 3 should your empty talk make men hold their peace, and when you mock, should no one rebuke you? My child, Israel, what is happening? Is the sky dark? Is there peace? Is there chaos and destruction? I told you to keep watching Israel. Everything revolves around Jerusalem. The sickle has it withered. I know you don't understand everything I'm doing, but you will, you will very soon. My spirit is first. Remember more than remember more than meets the eye. What man doesn't understand, the spirit will understand. Just know no matter what you see, if you are walking in my spirit, you will have my perfect peace. I told you you will see some destruction. I told you you will see some chaos. It will come on you like a thief in the night. Keep looking up. I love you. Your Abba. I'm coming sooner than you think. Roused from the sleep. Do not forget that. The spirits, the spirit is first. I said it again. Then you will see it all in the flesh. Believe in me, confess your sins to me, and give me full repentance and turn your life over to me. I will save you. Keep watching. Colossians 2.10 And you are complete in him who is the head of all principality and power. <clears throat> oh, and I forgot Colossians 2.9 as well. Sorry, it was 2.9 through 2.10. I'm not sure what it is. If you guys want to go look up 2.9. Jude 1.7. I saw them in Gomorrah and the cities around them in similar manner to these, having given themselves over to sexual morality and gone after strange flesh, are set forth as an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Ruth 2.6, so the servant who was in charge of the reapers answered and said, it is the young Moabite woman who came back with Naomi from the country of Moab. 1 Peter 1.3, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. John 3.9, Nicodemus answered and said to him, how can these things be? And here's the message of the day, Galatians 5.22. I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh, for the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish, but if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, nudeness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revelries, and the like of which I tell you beforehand just as I told you in the time past that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God 
But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law, and those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us walk in the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. Okay, guys, that's it. Trust in Jesus. He loves you. Have a blessed day.